You've been saving for months and the time has finally come. You're gonna order your dream football boots and you order them online because you used an SR4U coupon code and saved a little bit of money. Every day that goes by, the anticipation build. You're getting more and more excited for these new boots to arrive. One week later, they're finally there. The doorbell rings and the UPS guy hands you your new boots inside of a box. You bring that box inside and you proceed to open it, but you realize it's a lot more difficult than you expected because they used way more tape than they should have. However, you finally get through all that tape and your shoes are in the box. You pull the box out, open up the lid, and admire the amazing string bag that's sitting on top. You finally get over that, you throw it away, then you pull the boots out, you put them on your feet, and guess what? They're too small. For the record, that was totally unscripted. What's going on guys? Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you a video today to answer the question that I get asked every single day and that is what do you do if your football boots are too small? Well unfortunately there's not much you can do. Ordering football boots online is pretty much a normal thing these days given that a lot of people don't have access to a local store and the fact that you can get just better prices online as well makes it a very very attractive option. But getting the proper fit can sometimes be a little bit tricky because if you're ordering online you're not able to try them on until the boots arrive at your house. You did your research, you watched some SR4U videos, and you tried to figure out what size you need in those new boots and tried to get an idea of how they're actually going to fit, given if you have wide feet, narrow feet, normal feet, high arch, low arch, whatever it might be. I've heard every story in the book, but when they finally arrive at your house, you find out, oh my gosh, they're too small. The very first thing that you absolutely should not do if you put your boots on for the first time and they feel too small, especially when it comes to the length, is don't go and wear them because once you've worn them, they're yours, they're used. Nobody's taking them back at this point. If you order from an online retailer, obviously be aware of what their return slash exchange policy is, but it's pretty common practice for all these online retailers these days to have some kind of an exchange policy. Because if you're ordering the boots online, there is a strong chance that they might not fit exactly the way that you'd like, and maybe you'll need to exchange them for a different size. Often these exchange policies are 100% free of charge, meaning that you can send them back and they'll send you the right size at no cost to you whatsoever. Sometimes there is a cost, again, it's gonna vary from retailer to retailer. That does not mean take them to training, wear them for 30 minutes, then realize that they're too small and then try to clean them off and then send them back as brand new because I can almost guarantee you that the retailer will definitely notice and they'll send them right back. And that's really the easiest and best way to do it. If they arrive and they're too small, exchange them for a slightly bigger size and you're not gonna have any issues at all. But this is something that is going to vary from situation to situation. When you put the boots on your feet, only you know how they feel and every boot's going to be a little bit different based on the shape and based on the materials that the upper is made out of. Now the upper, some of them will have more stretch. For example, if you have a leather upper, as you wear them in, it's definitely going to stretch where something like a stiff flyknit upper on a Nike Mercurial isn't going to stretch quite as much even after several weeks of wear time. So again, it's kind of very case specific and boot specific in regards to what you can anticipate in regards to stretching and you kind of have to judge that for yourself. If you put a pair of boots on and your toes are totally crunched at the front and they're just way too small and you can tell they're never gonna stretch enough, then it's probably best to return them and get the right size. But if they just feel a little bit too snug to where they're not uncomfortable, but you can tell after a little bit of wear, after just a slight amount of stretch, they'll be pretty much perfect. At that point, you kind of can maybe give them a chance and let them stretch out. It's really one of those calls that you have to make on your own. What will not stretch, however, is the sole plate base. It's made out of hard plastic. That's what's determining the base size and the base shape of the boots. So while the upper might stretch a little bit, that sole plate base will not. So if you can feel that the boots are too small from the base up, it's best to return them and get a bigger size. And a lot of people don't realize this, but if you get a new pair of boots and you're looking to change up the style in an inexpensive way, you head over to sr4ulaces.com. There are over 200 different styles of laces to pick from in different colors and patterns that are inexpensive and make your boots that much more unique. Plus you can get free worldwide shipping on any order of $16.99 or more. Unfortunately, your boots will still be too small. I should also mention that there are technically other ways to help stretch out the upper as well without using your 
your feet. What a lot of people used to do when I was growing up with leather boots is they would throw a tennis ball kind of shoved into the toe really tightly and just leave it overnight and it would stretch the upper a little bit. A lot of people also these days like to use the freezer trick. I'm not sure how common it is, but I have seen people talk about it where you fill up a bag with water, slot it in the boots and then throw the boots in the freezer. And then as the water freezes, it expands and stretches the boot. I personally don't recommend this method, but I've heard that it does work. I just don't think it's a very good idea. Either way, I think the best way to break in and stretch any pair of football boots is going to be by wearing the boots on your feet and actually playing in them. But if they're so tight from the start that you can't even wear them in any kind of comfort at all, it's very likely that the boots are just straight up too small. It's normal to experience some kind of discomfort during the break-in process, such as foot cramping and maybe even blistering, but if your toes are totally crunched in the boot and they just don't feel comfortable at all, not even for a second, then again, they're too small. I can't make that more clear. That's why they make sizes in the first place. They make different sizes so you can get the right size. If you have the wrong size, it's never gonna fit right. And that goes for boots that are too big as well as too small. And that pretty much concludes this video. If you order boots online and they're too small, return them for the right size. That is the best thing to do 100% of the time. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please support it with a like. That helps me out tremendously. And if you have any questions regarding anything that I talked about in this video, feel free to leave them down below in the comments, and I'll do my best to get an answer out to you as soon as I possibly can. If you don't want to miss out on future content from me on this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button along with the little bell notification so you get notified when the next new video goes live, new uploads every single day. All my social media information is also linked down below in the description if you want to follow me there. And other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.